hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to the channel what's good what's popping what it do and uh, welcome to the channel my name is nongtao ilo whatever feels comfortable for you if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again we love to see it so today i'm gonna give you guys a quick video i'm actually doing my assignment which i need to finish like i'm so tired i haven't rested well enough and i'm not used to this like <laughs> why am i suffering but anyways guys today i'm gonna come um quickly and just be vulnerable in this space because i feel like uh, you know that, that's what we stand up for sometimes um i really hope i don't look back and i'm like mm, why did i do that but anyways um there's something i realized i've been observing my my movements um if you call it reflection time i guess and I was just realizing that sometimes I have a tendency to treat people how I assume they'll treat me. So it's not necessarily a thought process of, oh, do you know what? Like this person is uh, my friend, so I'm going to show up for them this way. But instead, it's a, this person would have done this. I'm sure of it. So instead, I'm going to do that as well. So it's like a tit for tat scenario. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a background, a background of the story. So in my course, um, there's a module that I do which is called microeconomics and there we study about like the game theory In the game theory there's a prisoner's dilemma situation so a prisoner's dilemma is basically a game case where two prisoners two suspects are locked into two separate rooms they have no idea what the other person is going to say but then if they both deny doing the crime they both get to go scot-free but then they don't know if the other person's going to deny so now they're faced with a effect like with a case of either confessing that we've done it and serving like a shorter term if they both converse it's a long term but it's shorter if they both do it whereas if one person confesses and one denies like the one who confesses gets a shorter term and the one who denies gets a way longer term than the actual one where if they both confessed so now the question is will they cooperate and both deny do they trust each other to that extent and because they, we don't they don't like normally the case is they just both choose to confess and just you know serve the time in jail so i feel like i took that principle and i actually applied it in terms of how i treat people where because you don't know what the other person is going to do you assume the worst and you think if this person actually would show up in this way in my life or this is what they meant or this is how they feel about me so i'm not gonna put my all into this relationship because if they don't think i'm worth responding to as soon as i send a text or if you know if they didn't see me when i wave my hand or any situation in general like i feel like sometimes we have a tendency of doing a tit for tat so in in the game theory there's this a principle of saying sometimes there's a continuation of the game so when you don't know like when it's not the last time you play the game it means you can have a strategy so what i mean by a strategy is you can actually say if this person if i choose to deny and this person confesses the next time we're asked i am never ever denying again right so that's a tit for tat strategy like it's not a tit for tat as such but it's like i'm gonna behave the way you've behaved towards me so if you if you basically deny and i've confessed next time i'm denying as well like i'm gonna make sure that you are in danger like sorry the other way around but just like you know like saying okay if you've done this to me i'll do it to you next time and i feel like sometimes that's how we approach how we treat other people where you're like because i feel like you didn't treat me the right way or i didn't feel like you gave me the right attention at that time in this place where i feel like you need that same attention i'm not going to give it to you because it needs to be even or it's just like the way you perceive them and the way they carry themselves and you're just assuming that this person would have done this and so you behave in such a manner and i feel like i was doing that like where i was anticipating the move of my friends and i was like do you know what like i'm sure they would have done the same so let me go ahead and actually betray them in this way or not show up for them in this way because I don't think they'd have shown up for me anyways and it's like right now when I sat back with myself I was like actually what do you want to do like what do you want to do so I was listening to this podcast that was talking about how life becomes way easier when you stop trying to control everyone else around you and like focus on the things that you can control so like stop trying to um change your friend's mind or stop trying to just like instigate what you believe on other people when you stick to what you believe and kind of share that opinion and do what you want like to change like for example if you're upset by the fact that your friends went out without you if you, and you want to spend more time it affects you because clearly you care about them so what you instead need to do is be the one that organizes the next meetup invite them they'll show up 
then you've got to, to spend time with them instead of you beating yourself around feeling left out and thinking oh why do people not invite me there's things that you can control and if you can control it like make sure that you control it and stop blaming everyone else for how things are not working in your favor so basically that's that's the same concept like in terms of how you treat other people instead of you assuming that actually this person would have done this or could have done this or like acting in situations where you're thinking well my friend would have acted this way anyways and you justify your wrong actions and everything like that we need to go back to our guide as children of god we want to go back and be like what would god expect of me in this situation what would jesus have done and instead use that positively to say actually because the word of god tells me to be kind in this situation i don't feel like doing it but i know that in the situation what i'm considering more is like my growth my journey and even though i feel like this is beneficial for me now i think that this is the right way for me to do it because this is what i've you know i've been taught and i know that god wants me and will be proud of me if i do this so choosing the right option instead of how you feel or how your friend would have acted because sometimes you justify our wrong actions based on the fact that i think everyone else would have understood like you know what i mean right you understand me so be somebody who actually can stand up for that and be strong enough to say actually i know that i have different feelings towards the situation right now but i know what i should do and i'm choosing to take responsibility i want to know what i want for myself other than every influence that's clouding my judgment no wonder they say like the five closest people in your life determine who you are as well because if you're thinking about how your friend would have acted or your mom would have acted it it kind of like rubs off on you when you're like okay this makes sense because other people would have acted the same way as you could actually change the narrative and think more on what do i want to do what do i enjoy doing like what would give me peace about the situation because the word of god does say that like it's not that eating meat is wrong or not eating meat is wrong but if you're convicted about it then don't do you understand like it, it doesn't mean that oh it, it's it's a crime but it says if you feel bad or you feel like this is wrong for you to do then don't do it so in the same light like if you start tapping into your emotions and tapping into like your inner self you will understand that even if something is something that your friend would have done if you don't feel peace about that thing if you feel like this is mean i wouldn't do that then it's time for you to act and find yourself find yourself find who you are before the influences and impact of like trying to pick pieces of other people of course i always say it's good to you know use your role models to inspire you to elevate to the level that you want to become but in terms of personality it's good to search deep within and ask god for help in, in places where you're like look i actually didn't feel like helping that person i actually didn't feel like showing up in that season so those things are so paramount and i really hope this makes sense for you guys and even for me like i'm actually in a journey where i'm like I want to think for myself i want to stop assuming or waiting for other people to make decisions for me or calling other people as soon as things happen i want to learn to rely on god first like step back and be like god this is happening what should i do god you know like have him at the forefront and then if i can't or if you know just like for further reassurance i could have more people talk to me but that is the portion of my life that i'm actually like actively working on currently and i do hope it helps you i hope it also helps you to shape your friendships more positively going forward showing up for your friends the way you believe um is right and the way that you have been taught by the word of god and just like showing up for yourself as well you know understanding yourself and what you value and what you care for more than what every other influence has told you makes more sense but with that being said enjoy the rest of your day but for now bye